For centuries, man has worked on the problem of preserving his food supplies against the spoilage produced by microorganisms. In recent years, a new method of food preservation has been developed in which the army saw many advantages. It involves the irradiation of plant and animal food products with gamma rays from a radioactive source such as cobalt-60. Tests conducted in line with strict government standards have shown that irradiation destroys bacteria with little or no change in the color, flavor, odor, texture, or nutritive value of the selected foods. In 1966, the world's first industrial procurement of irradiated bacon was arranged for by the Defense Supply Agency, with technical assistance from the Army's Natick Laboratories. In the two packing plants contracted for this project, the bacon slabs are treated as they normally are. This includes smoking, which is one of the oldest methods employed to increase what is termed the shelf life of certain meats and fish. But even smoked foods require refrigeration if they are to remain on the shelf for any length of time. After smoking, slicing and weighing, the bacon in the irradiation process is rolled up and placed in cans. The cans are capped and sealed. A dosimeter disc is attached to each can. The yellow disc changes to red when exposed to radiation. The canned bacon is packed in cartons and shipped to Brookhaven National Laboratory, Long Island, New York. Brookhaven has the required irradiation facilities. In the future, it is expected that privately owned packing industries will have their own irradiation equipment. At Brookhaven, the cartons are stacked in aluminum containers and loaded on a conveyor system which transports them to the irradiation facility. In the irradiation process, the cobalt-60 is raised between the containers and is kept there for an established period of time. Meanwhile, its gamma rays penetrate the containers and sterilize the meat by destroying the microorganisms which, if present, can cause food poisoning. Once the bacon is removed from the radioactive field, no residual radiation remains in the meat or its containers and the sealed cans protect the food from recontamination by bacteria or other microorganisms. The red dot on the carton indicates the contents have been irradiated and that the bacon can be kept unrefrigerated for extended periods of time. With the approval of the Federal Food and Drug Administration and the Department of Agriculture, other foods, including plant products such as potatoes, fruits, and grains, are to follow the bacon example. There are several advantages of food preservation by irradiation, as developed for the Army by the Army Materiel Command Subsistence Research and Development Programs. It can reduce the logistical loads usually associated with the transportation and storage of food under constant refrigeration. And this can reduce the overall cost of military food supplies. For today's army, widely deployed as it is, it makes possible the more efficient delivery of food that is thoroughly good to eat and that will contribute to the well-being and morale of each soldier wherever he may be assigned.